Hello out there! Okay, so I'm trying to turn out content on this bag as fast as possible because I know that the order window is going to not last very long and the time frame to be able to get a hold of something from this collection, which by the way is the current Louis Vuitton women's collection, Spring in the City Part 2. This is the marshmallow bag in the Sunrise Pastel. There's also the Sunset colors which are the that really like bold pop of kind of magenta fuchsia with the really dark purple almost black kind of colors um i'll post one of the bags that i saw from that collection on my instagram when i went to go pick up this one they had one in stock so i did take a picture of it but i wanted to kind of give everyone ideas i put up some mod shots and uh, I did my unboxing video, so today is a kind of what's in my bag, what fits in this bag situation. So I'm going to start off with what I would normally carry, so kind of a what's in my bag. And the, the opening here, so as you can see on this side, so on this side they have the split open, right? So you have the opening that's as wide as this area here and that's to accommodate the other side of this hinge but on this side the zipper remains together so the opening is not as wide so you kind of have this taper here and this entire chunk of bag that you can't open so you kind of lose about an inch an inch and a half in bag opening but it is you know fairly deep but the other thing is it does taper as well so it's wider on the bottom and it kind of narrows on the top okay so what i would my bare my bare bare minimum would be my wallet which is right now i'm using the the recto verso right now i'm using my monogram and i also have it on the black empreinte so I'd have my wallet and my keys, my keys attached to there. I would have, I always carry some sort of reusable bag situation, especially because Target doesn't have that. You have to buy a bag from Target. I have some kind of hand lotion because my hands get so dry. And this is the largest one that I would carry. Sometimes I have like a go-to, something very small. And normally I have some kind of wipes just in case, and hand sanitizer, and maybe one or two kind of pitch-alls to kind of organize my bag, so the small and the medium from the Kiragami Pouchette collection, and then a phone. So I'm using my phone to film right now, so I will put in, so I have the samsung flip so it it goes very very small but i will kind of use this wipes as a representation of a phone so you can kind of see the size there and that's about my bare essentials right there so if you kind of turn the bag over you can see there's lots of space so the recto verso is down here the bag reusable bag the two from the Kirigami, one on top the other. The phone would slip in the back there. My hand sanitizer is down here. My lotion and then some wipes. So that's what it would look like and it's not warped. It fits very well. There's still tons of space. So it's kind of, it's more than my bare essentials because I don't, I don't need to have these two and I can always downsize this to a smaller hand lotion but I do need my wallet and my car keys and again I don't know where I'm going to end up so I always take that guy with me and then some kind of wipes and hand sanitizer so I would say that I could probably go with a much smaller bag okay so let's say Let's do a kind of a mom twist to this. So I'm gonna have little trip with me. And for some reason we're gonna be gone for medium length of time and I can if I could only carry this bag. So I'd have to have some sort of diaper and change of clothes. 
And I usually carry two kinds of wipes. And I have hand sanitizer for both me and Little Trip. And then those kinds of wipes. And then again, my bare essentials, so I have to have my wallet with me. And I have to have a reusable bag. Okay, and emergency snack. And I would usually carry, you know, this kind of water bottle, but I don't think that's going to fit in there so things that I have for a little trip in here would be the multiple kinds of wipes diaper an extra outfit and a snack and I could probably fit a like a tiny book in here for her and then of course my phone would fit quite nicely if I maybe mm, no I don't think that I could fit the water bottle in there so I'd carry that separately but it would still fit so it's starting to wonk <laughs> just a little bit with that but I'm sure that I could rearrange this a little bit better to get everything better fit in there okay so let's take everything out okay and let's say you don't have to bring stuff for your kids and let's say you looking at this bag but you carry a full-size wallet so this is my only really like fat one like a really fat full-size wallet and to show you the thickness this is the card holder compared to that guy okay so this fits in nicely right so lots of room to spare and Let's say you need a catch-all of some kind, so I'm gonna do the mini pochette, and you have something like one of these for keys, and some other reason for both of them. We'll put both of them in here, and you also like to go places like Target, so we'll put that guy in there, and I think most people have some kind of hand sanitizer. And I don't know if someone will have wipes, but we'll just throw them in here for fun. Okay, and then what else could I fit in here? Um, okay, so let me just show you how that fits. So we have the full-sized wallet there on the bottom, and we have the catch-all, the mini pochette here. We have the bag, we have the wipes, we have the key holder, we have the clay. And then my hand sanitizer, so if you close it, okay, no wonk, no wonk at all. I think, well, maybe a little bit of wonk, but there's still, there's still quite a bit of space. Okay, what else would someone try to fit in here? So we know that it easily fits a full-size wallet, and then some, mm, if you want to, it won't fit the large, the large pouch of the Kirigami. I already tried those, so it won't fit there. And as a FYI, the on the go, the the PM size does not fit this either. If you have to put it in diagonally, it won't fit straight in. If you're looking at the on the go from this collection. If you use this as a catch-all, it does fit very, very well. And even if you wanted a full-size wallet and the catch-all, that would fit, you know, just lovely. So if you had a full-size catch-all and you had a full-size wallet and you had all the key situations. Okay, those have to kind of be on the top there. And then the hand sanitizer and the bag. Okay, okay. Okay, that one probably has the most bit of wonk. You've got some denting there. But you might be able to stack. I don't like stacking because that makes it so hard to dig into your stuff. 
But yeah, this is actually a pretty decent sized bag on the inside because the shape, again, it's, it's pretty wide at the bottom. It limits how you can stack because it's tapered on the top and they seem to like that style. But yeah, okay, and then just if you have this, you have to fit it this way. If you do it standing up, you can't close. Alright guys, hope that was helpful. See you in the next one.